Hi everyone, welcome, I'm Snookus, and this is another episode in our um, Urban Empire uh, Let's Play. I haven't really called the series anything yet, so I might not actually name it. But uh, yeah, welcome back to um, our Seoul district of Thornton in Kaiserhafen, I believe is the name of our city. Because I should remember from last time I did accidentally press through all of those setup menus, so I, I suppose I might have had a chance to rename it. But at the same time, I, I'm terrible at naming things in games, as you might have noticed from my other series, so um, um, letting the game choose the name for the city, for the city might have been a good choice anyway. So, uh, we do have a monthly budget, def well, no, a surplus, and um, a positive balance, so uh, we, we're gonna find some way to spend that money now. First, a local newspaper just nominated you as the cruel, cruelest major in Svarelia. How do you feel about this? We can't go sad because we don't have pros progressive. Uh, angry, we can send them to prison. Sure, let's go all dictatorial. Okay, so uh, the middle class feel less secure, but we gained uh, some progress in the cruel trait. And I'm gonna show this to you. We have a couple of traits here um, for our personality. One is cruel, which gives us good negative goodwill, but positive security. Luddite, which... Um, lowers personal growth and that's gonna be really bad in the long term for uh, technological advancement but uh, otherwise I mean it, it's it did uh, increase security and so I suppose that's something and, uh, yeah right in uh, later eras there are, there, are, there is gonna be the chance that we might be voted out from uh, as, from from being the major mayor not the major although we might be a major as well considering our clothing. But I'm sure uh, one of those medals uh, uh, says that we are a ma major or some kind of officer. But as for now, we have something called the Emperor's nominee, which means the emperors, uh, Emperor have um, placed us, uh, us as the governor uh, of this um, colony. So we won't actually have to worry about being voted out yet. I think it's either the next or the, the era after that in which we might be voted out. So what I'm doing now is I'm waiting for the... Invention breeds invention. No sooner is the electric telegraph devised than gutta percha, the very material it requires, is found. Very insightful. Um, so this gives us newspapers, shoe store, and... We can uh, select the spread manually in a new district. So that's going to be good. And I'm also going to build a church right away. So the newspaper and the shoe store, I'm fairly certain, will uh, simply be built by itself in the in the town, in the district. Uh, so next, uh, I'm thinking we should go with um, thermodynamics, both because it gives us steam power and the railway station, which are go both really good. It gives us another store, which is going to boost the economy, and we get the police station, which is really good anyway, even though it isn't one of the... Um, one of the weak sides of the conservative family. It's still nice to bo bolster it. So let's uh, let's go with that. Um, Christ! All right, uh, let's let's build a new uh, district now. Then uh, now I guess um, we need an industrial. So sure, let's build a little industrial city here. Come on. Something like this maybe. Uh, let's make it sparse as well because uh, I'm sure all of you have spent some time in or at least passed through uh, an industrial um, uh, district sometime and they usually are quite sparse in their uh, in their grid, in their um, planning uh, to um, both wider roads to allow for heavier traffic but also um, um, but also uh, so that the heavy industries fit within the blocks I have no idea where my brain is going but anyway uh, let's confirm that and now we can choose the spread selection um, sure so what we're gonna do is 
gonna go heavy on industry, we're not gonna have any business, and we're gonna have a little, like, 15%, maybe a little bit more, so that we can have um, all of the coast having, being residential, and uh, it also um, coincides with this residential play, this this residential block, I suppose you could call it, so that it's, um, it, it's a coherent line of uh, residential buildings, while the industrial is also coherent. So let's uh, go with that. And um, what do we need for for this then? We could build a grammar school, but I, I don't think it's, don't really think it's worth it for um, simply three blocks of uh, residential and the church is no real use in an industrial area now, is it? So, sure. So this is what it's going to cost per month. We haven't really increased the roads or infrastructure or anything like that, but anyway. And generally, you can use personal funds, but we can't do it right now, uh, both because we can't afford it. We only have 90,000 and cost 304, um, but also because I'm, I'm supposing it's due to the tutorial. What you can do is go um, do a quicken vote, which means you don't have to wait all that predetermined time before the, uh, the issue goes to a vote in the chamber. Um, but it also costs two prestige to do that. But we are going to go for a, a normal vote. And... This place is going to be called Edgeworth for some reason. It's a bit weird that uh, the districts have very British sounding names when it's supposed to be a colony of Austria, but uh, I mean, it's cool either way, but still. Uh, let's just see on the votation here. Uh, this shouldn't be an issue, but just to be sure, let's um, make sure that it does pass. No reason to risk it now. Okay, that's, that's uh, great. Um, in the meantime, right, you can't modify or build a new district while another district be <clears throat> is being voted on. So uh, we're gonna have to wait wait for this vote to finish before they can build a, build a church in here. Uh, but th that is the next thing I'm gonna do. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna speed it up here. Now it, it did pass, but uh, it's gonna go faster after the vote. So we don't have to sit, about, sit around and wait so long. I'm fairly confident in this vote. I mean, we might get unlucky and get it, get enough um, splitters from the national national Svarelian party to spill over to the nay side, but but I doubt it. So let's uh, let's vote. See how see how it goes. I'm sure. Um, yeah, looks fairly confident. Looks fairly cert certain. I mean, um, okay. So we got a. We got. We managed to pass that district. Now we got a, another district. Okay, so newspapers tell you essentially what has happened every now and then. So the Fisocratic Party wins the elections, and the Free Democratic Party came second. So this means that the National Svarelian Party is still the smallest one as it was before, and I can't see it from here. But um, I'm sure uh, we're gonna take a look at how the distribution of um, Council councillors uh, is looking now, and we get we gained some literary fame and some got some ceramics, ceramics. Um, right, so let's look at the chamber. The Fisocratics lost seven members, um, or councillors. The National Australian Party gained twelve because I think what they were seven before, and the Free Democratic Party lost seven as well. I think so. Even though the Physiocratic Party got more votes, um, they are fairly um, it's just fairly even split between the Free, Democrat, Free Democrats and the Physiocratic. So that means the National Israeli Party has turned into somewhat of a, um, of a moderator in every question here. They can essentially decide uh, which issue is going to be voted uh, positively or negatively. So that's uh, cool for them. It's also the party we... I believe, at least, we uh, sympathize the most with at the moment. Okay, so the econo economic situation of Kaiserhafen is worrying. If you don't do something, your career careers may you may be cut short. Um, let's pay a visit to Vienna. I feel like our guy is a case ass anyway. So we got um, points acquired toward Gullible. All right, the, you got an audience with the emperor and convinced him to grant. Kaiser have more funding, however he rebuked you for not looking after the budget. Sure, not really worried about that part. And as you can see, 
residential is soaring, uh, while industrial is, like, is, has actually reached a negative demand, or a positive and a negative, it might be fluctuating a bit. Um, that's not great as it is, but it's not too worrying, because we are gonna build another uh, district soon, which is gonna uh, have more residential. Your city administration needs to make a decision about the interior of the forthcoming railway, and I'm, I'm not sure I mentioned this. Um, sorry for going a little fast through all this, but um, every tech you choose, essentially every tech anyway, you are gonna uh, be um, confronted with a decision like this, which you get to make a choice, um, which do determine the future of your town and how you use the technology which you are developing. So your city administration needs to make a decision about um, the interior of the forthcoming railway station. So let's, we can even either make it aesthetic. Ascetic, Imperial, or Swirelian. So let's go with... I'm thinking Imperial, but I wouldn't dislike becoming independent. But let's go with Imperial for now. And this means the Physocratic Party wins. Whoops, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, and accidentally hit the, the mic once again. And before I uh, look at this, I just want to go on a little tangent here. Um, I believe that last time I played, I didn't manage to get independent. I'm not sure you can go independent even, but um, that might be because we didn't support the Swirelian party and managed to get them to be a ma major party. I suppose we could actually become independent if the um, national Swirelian party were to win the election sometime. So we might try to do something like that. Okay, so anyway, um, I suppose it's the Free Democrats. They want to uh, propose a legislation that allows for limited liability companies, you can either support or oppose. And I think it's reasonable to support this, because it's good for the economy uh, regardless, frankly. And uh, yep, nothing new there. Okay, cool. Um, and we can take a look at this vote here, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yeah, as you can see, it's overwhelming in the favor of it, so... And for you, those of you that don't know what a limited liability company is, it's essentially a company where you trade in stocks. So um, the owners of a company very rarely, uh, under very limited circumstances, have to um, uh, have any liability for the actions of the, of the company. So if the company goes um, bankrupt, for instance, uh, the owners don't have to pay anything, um, unlike other forms of um, corporation. Incorporation. Anyway, um, I'm a bit of a nerd in that respect. Anyway, um, trouble with the conservatives. The Free Democratic Party dislike dislike the conservatives because because they are standing in the way of reforms that the Free Democratic think are necessary. What do you do? What What do you do? I'm gonna support the physiocrats, which are. They are left wing, but they are conservative. Thus, from this slight and very short experiment, we may understand and judge of the mighty and wonderful laws of the heavens and the nature of Thank winds. you, Vitruvius. Um, yep, so you, you saw all the things we were going to get last time, so let's uh, decide on new tech here. The Bessemer Project. Which gives us the Bessemer Project and density selection. And actually, I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna go for safety, and then I'm gonna go for rights of man. That is because safety is always good uh, because we get the clinics and all of these uh, policies we can enact. And also because uh, I want rights of man so that we can get a little bit more um, personal growth. Is the call? Is what they call it? Because um, workshop is good for the unemployed. Not that I really care as a conservative. And to all the conservatives out there, I'm not. I'm not trying to uh, shame you or anything. I'm, I'm just. Uh, hyper, hyper, role playing with hyperbole, if that makes sense. Hopefully that's fine. I don't mean to um, don't mean to demean you or your political leanings. Um, and we also get the vocational school, which is real good for personal growth. So that's um, that's the idea. And we can also enact all of these things like city curfew, loitering ban, regulate gambling, all all the good imperial constitutional, no, the imperial uh, conservative stuff, not merely. Not even close to constitutional. 
Okay, so another thing you can build are unique buildings which are called institutions and we just unlocked the railway stations which is built over here. And it does cost like... Well, let's see what it costs. It costs 2,000... So, 2 million... Um, Falens, I think the currency was, uh, to build and it has an upkeep of 24,000 uh, per month. And while it provides a huge benefit both for... Um, well, for everything, essentially. Especially the economy. Um, I don't think our city is big enough yet to support it. So we're gonna... Gonna wait on that for a little bit. So we are entering a boom in the world. Uh, which is great. And I don't know if these booms and busts, which you, there are quite a few of in the game. If they are predetermined or if it's random or if it's determined of uh, on my actions. But um, it's cool to see anyway. Um, it... it makes it so that you need to build a really flexible economy. Um, wonder if this is our city. Anyway. And the board is still, is still in our favor and it seems like the other parties have convinced the, the physiocrats to move a bit in favor of it as well. A strange gift. You've been sent a gift from some Tropical Caribbean island. Uh, when you go to the port to collect it, you find that the gift is a live llama with a short note attached to it. Congratulations on your mayorship. I wish you a long and successful career. As a token of a goodwill, I sent you Hector. Greeting well, sincerely yours, Penultimo. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is a reference to um, uh, the. Um, what's those games called? Anyway, we're gonna accept it. Um, which gives us some bonuses. Um, Tropico. Tropico. The Tropico games. Um, there's a, this was always a thing where um, Penultimo fucks about with a llama and gives you a llama or whatever it is. I, I think it is that you can send a llama as a gift. You can send a gift to overseas um, chief of governments uh, like the president of the US and stuff. And you can choose what you want to send, so you can send llamas and stuff. I think that's the reference. Anyway, as you can see, our economy is actually going up quite a bit. Um, okay, so the election it pretty much mirrors the last one. Nothing new there. Um, actually, before we, we vote, let's see on there how many members they have. The Nationals, Sorelians have lost four members. Or counselors, uh, the other two are no, the physiocrats gained those four, and the free democratics uh, are the same. So, right, uh, let's begin the voting. Not that surprising, really. And this does have quite a lot of effects. We're gonna see some demand change for personal growth, we're gonna see uh, demand for security increased, we're gonna see demand for social life increased, and a lot of stuff like that, but we're also going to see a bo bonus in all of these things. So I do think we are going to go in a surplus in all of the things that we uh, now uh, increase demand. So now uh, limited liability companies are a new thing here in Svarelia. And that's a good thing, I think. Un unless unless um, we were to uh, introduce a full socialist economy, I suppose. Um, but it doesn't seem that likely, does it? Um, raise funding. Right, so if you want to, you can you can increase the funding for your um, so you can increase the funding for all your all your social uh, services and then propose it. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I don't care, frankly. But um, because it doesn't really give us enough benefit to be worth it at the moment. But we are going to do it. Okay, so the administration is preparing for the establishment of professional uh, safety authorities. What do you want them to focus on? Police, clinics, or fire departments. So we all already have quite a lot of security, so police aren't that important. So how about we go the other direction and go full Bismarck and uh, make sure that we have a fully functioning uh, health service instead. So now every clinic is going to have a bonus of one health... Um, health, wheel of life health, and they're also going to cost less to um, 
support. So that's great. That's perfect. As you can see now, we actually need some commercial demand. So we might build a mixed um, district over here with uh, maybe half of, um, half of it being commercial and half of it being residential. Okay, so it is hereby proposed that CSM will, allowed to, will be allowed to form labor unions. Do you support or oppose? I'm gonna oppose it because um, those uh, works are getting a bit too uppity and now. Uh, okay, so this is, a, this is quite fun because in this vote we are on the side of the Free Democratic Party and like the physiocrats is on, is on the opposite side of us even though they approve of it. So they are gonna wanna try to force through this legislation while we are gonna try to ban it or prevent it. And yeah, it is a massive step backwards, isn't it? Sorelian Gazette. Doesn't really think like we're in a nation that has Gazette, but Gazettes. I'm thinking of Gazelles. Never mind me. Right, so unfortunately, the parties are. Um, seem to be uh, favoring uh, the legislation, so let's oppose that. Actually, you know what? Before. Before we uh, engage with these parties, let's end the episode here. It's uh, been over 20 minutes, so thanks for watching. And hopefully you like the series, uh, at least somewhat, because I do. And I like to see our little crest here on the floor, which is looking quite snazzy. And yeah, leave a like if you like this uh, series or this episode, or if you want to so show your support for me. Um, leave a dislike if you want to do the opposite. And subscribe if you want to see these episodes be popped up, pop up in your inbox or in your subscriber subscriber feed yeah anyway uh, have a good day see you next time bye